Abby, we want to welcome you all into our Relu Cairo Mentors platform. We are so happy that you are joining us today. For those who are joining from the live video, if you want to interact with each other and with us on our chat box and our session, kindly join the Zoom meeting via the link that, uh, that is attached above the post, okay? So, kindly we are going to switch off all your cameras and mics to, to avoid background noise, okay? And we can avoid the internet distraction and so on. And we want to welcome Ms. Marwa Abdelgalil in today's session entitled Reach Intelligence, uh, Reach Excellence with Emotional Intelligence. Ms. Marwa Abdelgalil is, is an English instructor, teacher, trainer, uh, translator, and interpreter. She's also an MA holder. She's pursu pursuing her PhD in English methodology. Moreover, she's an access teacher, which is a program funded by the US Embassy. She also participated in the International Leadership Program uh, in US and attended the TESOL Convention in Seattle. Finally, she is also the founder of uh, U-Turn, which is a page for all the educators who are interested in teaching methodology and something like that. Hello, Ms. Marwa Abdelgalil, how are you? Unmute yourself. I think you are muted. Yes, 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 yes. Hi, how are you? Hello. How are you, Anin? Nice to see you today. Uh, thank you. Nice to see you all. And thank you, Anin, for introducing me. And thank you all for, for coming here and participating. Um, actually, it's really nice to see a lot of familiar names here participating. It makes me yeah. feel like comfortable having a lot of friends around. Yes. Um, so, so now let's start. Uh, so first, uh, well, I'd like to welcome you on our Zoom meeting entitled Reach Excellence with Emotional Intelligence. So of course, uh, this is presented by me, Marwa Abdelgalil, and this is my email address, my phone number, and my page on Facebook. So let's start by the objectives. So by the end of this session, participants will be able to use emotional intelligence to better communicate with others and use emotional intelligence to handle different situations. Finally, use emotional intelligence to develop, to develop a good rapport. First, let me ask you, how are you feeling? How are you feeling right now? So please write your feeling in the chat box. How are you feeling, guys? Write your thoughts in the chat box. Good, happy, I can't hear. <laughs> oh my God, it's a bad feeling, yeah. <laughs> Just to check your headphones. Sleepy, worried, good, relaxed, good, upset, still alive, Hi. alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Curious. Curious. Yes, that's good. Okay, great. So now, optimistic, <laughs> yeah. Good, good, great, great. So now, who struggled to find the right word to describe him or herself? Just write one in the chat box if you couldn't find the right word that the best describes you. Okay. One. <laughs> okay. We have many ones. Yes. Okay, so why do you think this may happen? Why is it difficult? Why is it, why is it sometimes difficult to find the exact word that best describes our feelings? Why? Emotions and feelings, you have to be aware of them. Okay. Lack of the ability to be aware of, being overloaded because we might be confused. Hi, Ahmad Abdul Mohsen. Maybe because we don't think Hi, of them. Hi, Ahmad. How are you? Yeah. <laughs> Confused, maybe. Yes, maybe. Okay, so great. So then now, this is how well, um, yes, full of feelings, uh, not understanding ourselves deeply. Okay, great. These are all great suggestions. Great. Okay, thank you. So for now, this is how well we can identify and monitor 
our own emotions and feelings. So now let's move on to how well we can identify and monitor others' emotions. So for now, I'll give you four facial expressions and you just need to tell me what each facial expression means to you. Good? So four facial expressions and you just need to tell me what each facial expression means right in the chat box. So what about this one? What do you think, guys? How does she feel? Surprise. Fear. 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 We have many fear. Yes. Okay, that's right. That's, so yes, this is yes. fear. What about this one? What about this one? Hannah, anger, anger. Bessim, hungry. <laughs> hungry. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's angry because he's hungry, yes. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Disappointed. Okay, so now let's see. Anger, that's right. Excellent. Give yourself a pat on the back. Okay, next. Huh. What does she feel? Good, good, good. Great. <laughs> okay, this is nice. And the last one, how does he feel? Hello from Pakistan. Hello. Adnan. So hello, hello. from Egypt. Yeah. <laughs> nice to see you here, Adnan. That's fine. Surprise. Okay, great. Yeah. Okay. So now, so I just want you to grade yourself. How many facial expressions did you get right? Out of four? Four. Good for you. Three, four, four, excellent. Good job. Three, very good. Okay, so this is really nice. This is a very good start, actually. Okay. So from what we have just done, what is emotional intelligence? Can you guess? Um, uh, you, you can see my screen. So the is screen it is case here. for all of you? The screen is clear, I think. Is, it the, is the screen clear for you guys? Write one in the chat box if it's clear for you. Type one. It's clear, yeah. I think. Just to check your internet connection, dear. Yes, thank you. So okay, great. so what is emotional intelligence, guys? Write your thoughts. Yes, understand your emotions, understanding others' emotions, being aware or understanding one's feelings, being sociable, Okay. Uh, okay, voice. Can you hear me? Yeah, it's a clear. Yeah. Uh, good, good, good. To be, uh, to be respected. Okay. So now let's see. So here, emotional intelligence is the ability to identify and monitor our own. Huh. Can you guess? Can you fill in the gaps? Can feelings. feelings, our own feelings, good. Emotions, Emotions. that's a great yes. behavior. Okay, interesting. So here, well done. So the ability to identify and monitor our own emotions, excellent. And those of others, our own emotions and those of others as well. To, to what ourselves, huh? and to understand ourselves, okay, express or control ourselves, okay, great, understand, help, express, manage, okay, good, good, good. All of these are really good answers, but the, right, but the answer here is to self-motivate, but all your answers are also, are also welcomed. Thank you. So here to self-motivate ourselves and to handle interpersonal, interpersonal, Relationships with, with what? With others? Okay. Okay. So we, we are going to handle interpersonal relationships with, other, with others. Okay. This is nice. But with what? Having what? We should have what? Huh? Can you guess? Communication. Good. 
intelligence, good. Interaction skills, self-awareness, okay. <laughs> okay, so with empathy, with empathy. Empathy, this is the, the ability to communicate with others and to feel their own feelings and to try to communicate while understanding what they can feel, okay? And to have this kind of empathy, to be empathetic. Okay, so finally, emotional intelligence is the ability to identify and monitor our own emotions and those of others, to motivate ourselves and to handle interpersonal relationships with empathy. Good. So this is emotional intelligence. So why is it important? Why should we have this kind of emotional intelligence? Why is it important? Can you guess? To be successful, good. To deal with others, perfect. Thank you, Sameh, thank you, Maha. Yes, uh, Adnan, uh, it helps us understand ourselves, for sure, and the people, perfect. Happiness, Lubna, uh, perfect. It can change everything, yes, for sure. Thank you, Muhammad. Amira, to deal with others without conflicts. Yes, thank you, well done. Uh, Hanat, to effectively handle issues. Perfect, thank you. Um, Ahmed, to assist, uh, to communicate best. Uh, Bilal, to be able to treat with others. Good, great, great, great. This is really perfect. perfect. So now, importance of emotional intelligence. So it makes you more successful in business. So if you'd like to start your own business and have your own career, or if you are even an employee in a company, so it makes you more successful, more be, to be more beloved by others. Okay, good customer relationships. So have you ever just went to a, a shoe store and you just bought a, a new pair of shoes because the salesperson was nice to you? Has this ever happened to you? Just write one in the chat box if this happened. You just buy something because the salesperson is nice. Huh. Write one if this happened to you. So this never happened? <laughs> Hello, everyone. So write two if this didn't happen. Write two. Write two if this didn't happen. Write one if this really happened to you. Yes, one, 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 a lot of ones here. Yeah, a lot of ones here. Yes, two, two, good. Okay. Okay, so now let's see. Both, both situations happen. Okay. <laughs> so less aggressive, it makes you feel less aggressive. Of course, a lot of people around us may drive us mad. So you just need to be as cool as a cucumber. Okay, less aggressive, to be less aggressive. Healthy interpersonal relationships. You can deal with others and you can build relationships, build rapport with others. Better leaders and decision making. Of course, if you want to be a good leader, you should have good interpersonal relationships. You should be able to deal with others. And of course, you should be able to make good decisions. Finally, we have better academic performance. So if you are a student, you should have this kind of emotional intelligence. And if you are a teacher, you should increase your students' emotional intelligence, okay? To have, to have better academic performance, to perform better. Still talking about the importance of emotional intelligence. Here is the difference between people with low emotional intelligence and people with high emotional intelligence. So let's start, let's start by people with low emotional intelligence. Can you just write some adjectives, some adjectives for people with low emotional intelligence? How can you describe them? Just, just a word, just one adjective that comes to your mind. Any adjective that comes to your mind when you hear the word low emotional intelligence. Tough, aggressive, good, yeah. Okay, bad temper, shy, uh, demotivating, good. Angry, well done. Sad, okay, <laughs> yes, for sure. Um, cold, lazy, okay, awkward, 
So great, great answers. Yes. So let's see. First we have aggressive, bossy. High emotional intelligence, ambitious and decisive. Low emotional intelligence, selfish. Poor listener. High emotional intelligence, good listener. Persuasive. Stubborn. Resistant to change. No, I don't want to change. I, I just like my own life and I just want, or even if I don't like it, but I just don't want to change it. On the other, on the other hand, people with high emotional intelligence are patient and enthusiastic. They are all the time want to do a lot of things. They want to do a lot of different things and they want to succeed in life. They are ambitious. Hard to please. Low emotional intelligence. Critical. Okay. Your presentation is really bad. You are the worst person on earth. And so on. So critical. High emotional intelligence. Meticulous. Detailed. Meticulous. This is someone who pays attention to details. Okay. So you want, you want things to be good, you want it to be perfect, and so on. So now, choose only one word that best describes your personality. Only one word. Only one word. Uh, yes, uh, patient, good listener, patient, good, enthusiastic, cooperative, Good, <laughs> humble, sensitive, enthusiastic, good. A lot of highly emotional, intelligent people. Good, great. Uh -uh. Pessimistic? No, yeah. I'm sorry to hear Why so? <laughs> <laughs> so this is the session for you. <laughs> okay, good listener. Colin Ronald and Ryan Cool. <laughs> yes. Good listener, great. Okay. So we will see. We will see. So we will see how good listeners are you. So here, let's go to a personality test. So for this test, I'm going to show you um, four personal uh, sorry, five personality types with five shapes. Okay. So you will see a lot of different characteristics for each shape or for each character. You just need to read them quickly. I, just, I will just give you one minute to think about it. And you just need to write the shape that best describes you. So let's go for it. Ready? Ready? If you're ready, just type one in the chat box, guys. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. We have many yes, people yes, yes. already. We have 100 now. Wow. So I want 101. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Great so job. Yes. So now let's see. One minute. Only one minute. Try to find the shape that best describes you. So we have five shapes here. Uh, so we have a uh, triangle, square, uh, squiggle, triangle, and circle. Only one minute, and you just need to find the best shape. The shape that best describes you. So hard to decide. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, I have one from each time, <laughs> from each uh, box. Really? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you can just try to find the most common ones for you. Yeah. So you may you may choose like two, like two yeah, shapes. The majority, according to the majority. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, of course. Yes, a lot of people here. Square, triangle, rectangle, circle. Okay, uh, square and triangle. 
good. Okay. Squiggle, triangle, square. Ale, how are you? <laughs> Good to see you. Circle and square. Rana Mustafa. Uh, yeah, a lot of familiar names here. Really happy to see you. Anen as well. Yeah, Anen. Hi, Anen. How are you? Yeah, fine. <laughs> so you're a rectangle. Okay. Yeah, I, cool. I hope it's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> okay. Uh, square, rectangle, and and time is up. Okay, great. Good job. So now let's move to the components of emotional intelligence. So for the components, we have four components of emotional intelligence. The first two, the first two components are related to self. So, uh, okay, uh, rectangle, rectangle doesn't have, uh, sorry, Rectangle? No, it has. It has a. It has a description. It's here. Okay. So here, components of emotional intelligence. So here we have four components of emotional intelligence. Two of them are related to the self, and two and the two others are related to other people. So the first two are self-awareness and self-management, and. The, the others are social awareness and relationship management. Let's go deeply in each one of them. So self-awareness, self what does this mean in your opinion? Self-awareness, self what does this mean? How can I have this kind of self-awareness? Now, any suggestions? Know yourself well, good. Aware of my, um, aware, sorry, I missed it. Uh, yeah, aware of my own emotions or feelings. Thelma, thank you. Understanding myself and emotions, great, excellent. How much I, uh, I know myself, understanding, perfect. Yeah, that's right. So self-awareness, this is uh, emotional self-awareness. This is to be able to know yourself, to know your own characteristics, to know your own personality, to be able to identify or and understand your own feelings and emotions, to, be, to have this kind of accurate self-assessment, to be able to identify your weak points and your strengths, okay? And to make use of your strengths and to be able to develop your weaknesses. And finally, we have this kind of self-confidence. Yeah, to know yourself and to have this kind of self-confidence, to be confident about yourself, to be confident about who you are. Good? So this is number one, self-awareness. Number two, self-management. Self-management. What does this mean? Self-management. Huh? Try to guess. Self-management. Manage your time, managing time, good. Managing my emotions, thank you. Uh, control your temper, well done. Uh, Self-control, that's right. Uh, manage my thoughts, perfect. Okay, good. So now, self-management. This is the ability to have this kind of self-emotional control to be able to control your own emotions. So to be, for example, to be able to control your anger and to be able to deal with it. 
So now I'll show you a movie segment and I think you can relate. Okay? Now let's see. Calm down, Johnny. Calm down. الحياة حلوة. الحياة جميلة. مفيش حاجة تعصبك. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Okay, so this is, so this is, as you can see, self-emotional control. So this is to be able to control yourself, to control your anger, to control your own emotions. Okay. <laughs> okay. And here, uh, self-management is also related to the idea of being goal-oriented. Okay, the idea of not being distracted. You have your own goals and you just work towards them. You just need to achieve your own goals in life. Okay? To be optimistic. So let's see how optimistic you are. So here during the quarantine, do you believe in after quarantine? Do you believe, do you believe, uh, how, can, how can you see your life or our life after quarantine? Do you think everything will come up roses and everything will be fine, everything will be okay, or everything will be bad and not only the pandemic will be over, but we ourselves will be over? Uh, what do you think? And the color are you? <laughs> yes, being optimistic, huh? Fine, inshallah. Uh, yes, yes, uh, it will be much better, I believe. Okay, Amira, okay, thank you. That's so you believe in after quarantine, yeah? <laughs> will be okay, inshallah, yes, Sarah, Noura. Uh, Rana, everything will be better, inshallah, yes, I hope so. Uh, dust to dust. Uh. <laughs> yes, okay, thank you, best. Thank you, best, Amira, I'm sorry. مش عارفه احنا نحاول نغير لك ال يعني وجهه نظرك عن الحياه شويه يعني. <تصفيق> But I hope you can enjoy your own time يعني. Uh, shiny and happy of course inshallah okay thank you لبنى. Will be motivated great. Great. Uh, I do believe in a color <تصفيق> yeah okay. <تصفيق> okay يا يعني. <تصفيق> Okay so now let's see. To be adaptive. So how did you use your time during the quarantine? So tell us something new that you, that you do or uh, something that you like doing or uh, something that you uh, discovered about yourself or how did you adapt to this pandemic? What did you do while staying home? Cooking. Okay, Minna, <laughs> good. Wow, you... Adnan, great job. <laughs> Taking books and virtual teaching, great job. Great, great. Eating, read, <laughs> uh, sleeping, online courses, good. I have, uh, I have a live webinar daily, great. Uh, dancing and learning, whoa. Uh, eating and sleeping. <laughs> Uh, watching sessions like yours, okay, thank you, our, our pleasure. Uh, graduation project, uh -huh, good for you. Wish, you. wish you all the success in life. Uh, okay, working at home, yeah, a lot of great things here. Good job. So here, self-motivated, self-motivated. So this is to have this kind of motivation coming from deep coming from inside, okay, from within. You do not wait for others to motivate you. You are just self-motivated. So you have your own goals and you just want to achieve, to achieve them. So you are self-motivated. Okay, you're open and you're honest. You are transparent. You are open and honest about your feelings, your emotions, about your beliefs. Okay, uh, you, do not, you do not even try to lie. And for now, we have just finished the first two components of emotional intelligence. 
Can you just remind me of the two components, the two first components of emotional intelligence, those that are related to the self? What are they? What are the first two components? Huh? Try to remind me. Yes. Self-management, self-awareness. That's right. Perfect. Good job. So now, I'll let you watch a video and try to focus because I'm going to ask you something about uh, this video and how emotional intelligence is seen in this, emo uh, in this video. So please try to focus and pay attention. Okay. Ready? Are you ready? Just write one if you're ready. Yeah, a lot of ones here. Yes, okay, so now let's, let's watch. Good job. So let's see. What uh, makes yeah, people yeah, able um, to? Uh, can you hear? Can you hear? Yeah, 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 it's clear. Okay, good job. What makes people able to achieve their goals? There could be many answers to this question, but at least one of those factors is undoubtedly self-control. In the late 1960s, Stanford researchers ran a series of experiments to see how children would cope with delayed gratification. This is when you choose to give up an instant reward for a greater future benefit. For example, avoiding that muffin now so you can look good on the beach. Or choosing not to play with your friends so you can study for an upcoming exam. So going back to our Stanford experiment, a child, let's call him Timmy, was left alone in the room with one marshmallow. They told Timmy that if the marshmallow was still there when the researcher came back, he would get another marshmallow as a bonus. Alright, here's the deal. Marshmallow, for you. You can either wait, and I'll give you another one if you wait, or you can eat it now. Did you do good? You did? Yeah. So I'll tell you, I'll give you another one. Okay, so tell now what happened. So, what happened? Hi guys, write your thoughts in the chat box. Yes, yeah, self-control. Self -control. Yes. yes, great job. Well, well, it depends on the age, okay. So the experiment was done on uh, children, kids, kids. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, patient, delayed reward, uh, some oh. control themselves and some didn't, good, okay, the, this is uh, the result, perfect, thank you, delaying pleasure, good job, so now let's see what do you think those people who didn't, who didn't eat the marshmallow will be look like will look like when they become older or when they grow up how will they look like what will their personality be like do you think there will be any difference between those people there, there, those kids who ate the marshmallow and those kids who didn't eat the marshmallow do you think there will be any difference Yes, those people who ate the marshmallow uh, won't have self-control. Yes, more wiser, bad temper. Okay, so now let's see the results of this uh, experiment or this marshmallow test. At the end of the experiment, some children were able to resist the temptation, while others couldn't stop themselves from taking a bite of that sugary treat. Several years passed and the researchers revisited these children to see how they were doing. As it turns out, the children who were able to wait longer were more likely to have better academic results and their parents rated them as having higher tolerance for stress, ability to plan and reason, and exhibit self-control in frustrating situations. Even after several decades, the people who showed strong self-control as children continued this trend well into their adulthood. So, as you have just said, uh, those people or those kids who didn't 
uh, eat the marshmallow uh, become more more uh, self confident they become more successful and uh, they they become uh, better they um, uh, they can control their emotions yes uh, self control yes they have this kind of self control perfect that's right okay what? so now let's move to social awareness this is number 3 social awareness or awareness and acceptance so first you need to have organizational awareness this is to have uh, this sense uh, and to be able to understand and to comprehend your audience, the people around you. Empathetic. Remember, remember to have interpersonal relationships with empathy. So this is empathetic. Empathetic, this is understanding others' emotions, understanding, understanding others' emotions. And this is a crucial part in emotional intelligence, empathy. And to be helpful. And of course, part of being helpful is to be a good listener, to be able to listen to others, okay? So now let's see. We're going to play a game. So this game is called Simon Says. Have you ever played this game with your, uh, with your students? So do we have any teachers here? Yes, yes, a lot, yes, a lot, yes. Yes, yes, love it. Yeah, yes. Yep, yes. Okay, so we're going to play this game just right now, but we're going to have like different rules for the game. Okay, so now let's see. Let's see the rules of the game. So of course, you need to obey only the orders that start with Simon Says. Only the orders that start with Simon Says. So for example, if I say stand up, so you just need to, to do what? If I just say stand up, should you do anything? Nothing, yeah. No, nothing, nothing. Excellent, that's right. But if I say Simon says, you just need to stand up. Simon says stand up, yeah. And here, next, my actions. So this is the new rule. So my actions will not match my words. So you just need to be a good listener. Try to pay attention to my own words. Pay attention to my words, okay? Be a good listener. My actions will not match my words. I will say something and do something else. So try to be a good listener. So the game, the game starts when I say the game of Simon Says has officially begun. And it continues till I say the game of Simon Says is officially over. So how are we going to play it? So if you make a mistake, you're just going to give yourself a point. Give yourself a point if you make a mistake. So count your own mistakes, and uh, you're going to tell us your results by the end. OK? So are you ready? Ready? Ready to play the game? Would you stop sharing the, sc uh, the screen, Marwa? <laughs> yes, sure. Start yeah, to start the game. Yeah. Okay, yes, sir. Yes. Okay, so can you see me now? Yeah, clearly. Okay, so great. So now the game of Simon Says has officially begun. Touch your nose. Simon Says, touch your nose. Simon Says, touch your ear. Clap your hands. Simon says, snap. Simon says, open your eyes. Simon says, close your eyes. Simon says, uh, open your mouth. Uh, pull your tongue out. So, the game of Simon Says is officially over. So, now let's see your points. Wafat said that her daughter is playing with you. 
Great job, Wata. <laughs> Great job. Let's Great. check her results now. Really nice. <laughs> yeah. This is really nice. Okay. So now let's see. Let's grade ourselves. So how a good listener are you? So now, if, for example, if your mistakes count four, and if you have six right responses, so this means that you get uh, six out of ten. So uh, how a good listener are you? What's your grade? No mistakes. Yeah, good job. Good job. One. Okay, good. So one, this is one out of ten or one mistake? No. <laughs> Okay, no mistakes, good, zero. One mistake, good job. Uh, okay, six right answers, good job. Uh, one mistake, sorry, I was making coffee. Okay, thank you, Basim. Basim, <laughs> Basim you're doing very well. <laughs> okay, never mind, it's fine. Uh, okay, one mistake, good. Good job. So now let's move to the, the fourth uh, component of emotional intelligence. Can you remind me of the first three components? Huh. What are the first three components of emotional intelligence? What are they? Yeah, self-awareness, good. What's next? Uh, Self-management, that's right, perfect. Uh, Self-control, yes and social, uh, social skills, uh, social control, yes, social management, uh, social management, social awareness, excellent, social awareness, that's right. Okay, and here we have relationship management. So we have uh, self-awareness, self-management, uh, social awareness, and relationship management. So here, for uh, uh, relationship management, first we have, you need to be an, inspir an inspirational leadership. You need to have uh, inspirational leadership. You need to be an inspiring leader. Uh, why? We don't, we don't, we don't uh, live with this in this uh, life alone. So you should have this kind of influence on other people. You should inspire them to be like a role model for them and also to be able to uh, manage conflicts, okay? To have this kind of conflict management. Uh, of course, you need to be able to develop others because it's not only about you. It's all about us. It's teamwork. We need to, colla to collaborate, okay? We don't live in this life alone. Good. So now we're done with the components. So now it's time for a movie segment. So I'll show you a movie segment. And in this movie segment, you're going to find three characters, three characters. And these characters are sadness, joy, and bing bong. You just need to watch the movie segment. Yeah, inside out. Yes, excellent, that's right. And so, uh, Muhammad yeah. Gamal said, I'm sadness. <laughs> Why so? <laughs> okay. But, but the good part here is that this is kind of self-awareness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Welcome, okay. Joy. Happy uh, Master, uh, Hene, uh, and Joy. Joy. Yeah, Joy. yeah, so great. This you is have perfect. happy names, Aslan. Yeah. <laughs> Farah, <laughs> Happy, Hene, Noha. Okay, yes. sadness. Why, Amira? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here I'm going. Uh, I'm going to show you the movie segment, and you're going to see these three characters in the movie segment. And you just need to to tell me how is emotional intelligence presented in this segment. So you just need to yeah. see uh, how emotional intelligence is depicted. Okay, so now, are you ready? Ready? Write one if you're ready. Great. Okay, great, good job. Okay, now let's start. So let's start. No! No, 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 you can't take my rockets to the top! Riley and I go to 
to the moon! Hey, it's gonna be okay. We can fix this. We just need to get back to headquarters. Which way to the train station? I had a whole trip planned for us. Hey, who's ticklish, huh? Here comes the tickle monster! I'm sorry they took your rocket. They took something that you loved. It's gone. Forever. Sadness. Don't make him feel worse. Sorry. It's all I had left of Riley. I bet you and Riley had great adventures. Oh. They were wonderful. Once we flew back in time, we had breakfast twice that day. Sadness! That sounds amazing. I bet Riley liked it. Oh, she did. We were best friends. <laughs> yeah, it's sad. <laughs> I'm okay now. Come on, the train station is this way. Okay. So now, so now, how is emotional intelligence presented in this movie segment? In this part, in this part of the movie, how is it uh, presented? Being empathetic, yes. Empathy. Uh, yes, sadness. Yes, sa sadness uh, presents Emotional intelligence. Yes, she is emotionally intelligent. But in what way? Yes, emotional support. Joy is optimistic. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Caring. Yes, good. Thank you, Salma. Yes. Um, yes, okay. Uh, Ahmed, uh, tears moving. <laughs> okay, um, I didn't mean it. <laughs> But this is nice. This is kind of emotional intelligence. Uh, okay, helpful relationship, showing feelings, good listener. Yes, empathetic. Good job. Uh, thinking of positive things. Good. Uh, okay. Um, okay, great. Good job. So now, how can we use emotional intelligence at work? So here comes the part of career development. So how can we use emotional intelligence at work? Hey, any ideas? Any ideas of how we can use emotional intelligence at work? Uh, can you guess? Understanding students, good. Understanding others. Uh, collaboration, thank you, Farah. Uh, and uh, Salma and Anin as well, thank you so much. Uh, to improve our relations, uh, yes, excellent. Uh, thank you, Fierce uh, Tigers. Uh, yes, uh, Radwa, listening to others. Mm. Uh, Amira, managing conflicts, thank you. Uh, Ale, uh, support my students, good job. Well said. Accepting others, thank you, Samah, uh, or Samah, Samah. Uh, Khaled, uh, respect others. Uh, yes, good job. Perfect. I actually, I have nothing to add, but just let's go on. <laughs> so this is emotional intelligence at work. So first, don't explode when things don't go your way. Okay? So life doesn't always go up roses. So it happens. Okay? So... Uh, Try to accept it and try to adapt yourself. Try to have this kind of self-management. Try to be optimistic and deal with different situations. Don't explode when things don't go your way. So don't take credit for everything. Remember, it's teamwork, okay? Uh, it's uh, it's uh, the result of our collaboration. So we cooperate, so we have these results. So don't, don't take credit for everything. It's not only about you. It's all about the all of us. Don't brag about how good you are. Yeah, I'm the best person on earth. Yes, I'm the best presenter um, ever. The best teacher. Yes, I'm the best manager. See, I can deal with everything. No, don't brag about how good you are. And remember, it's not only about you. 
okay? Because it's, uh, it's the work of a lot of different people. So if you succeed, you succeed because you have, you have your team supporting you. So if you are, for example, uh, the owner of a company, for example, or, uh, or the owner of uh, a school, or if you were a teacher or, or whatever. So it's, you work and there are some other people who are supporting you, okay? So you do your part and others do their part as well. So don't brag about how good you are. Of course, awareness of others' emotions. This is, what, what do we call this? What do we call this? Awareness of others' emotions. What's this? In one word, just give me one word. What's this? Empathy, yes, Muhammad, thank you. Thank you, Hannah. Yes, yes, empathy. Yes, to be considerate. Yes, Ayman. Thank you. Uh, empathy. Yes, excellent. That, that's good. To be flexible. Okay, to have this kind of flexibility. Um, okay, we put we put uh, the rules to help others. Okay, so if things don't go well, you can just try to be adaptive, to adapt to the different situations. Okay, try to be flexible. To be an active listener, okay? You just need to listen to others. Yes, if possible, if possible. Employees need to spend some time together outside of work. Of course, if this is possible, this would be really nice. Uh, clear vision and clear destination. You should have this kind of... Um, to be like goal oriented, to have your goals and you just work uh, in order to achieve them. You have a clear vision and a clear destination that you work to go to. Yes, put yourself in others' uh, shoes. Yeah, uh, I, I missed it. So here, <laughs> so, here. <laughs> so here, agree or disagree, so here. I just want you to think of these uh, three sentences and try to tell me whether you agree or disagree with these three sentences. Agree or disagree. For the first one, for example, emotional intelligence is the ability to understand the way people feel and react. Agree or disagree? Agree. Yes. Good. Agree. Agree. Yes. Good job. You need to control your own feelings and to neglect the feelings of others. This is, a, do you agree or disagree? No, disagree. Yes, good job. Good job. Yes. And emotional intelligence, I missed it off. Hello. <laughs> yeah. You're giving so them a hand. <laughs> emotional intelligence can be used to make good judgments and to avoid or solve uh, problems. Agree or disagree? Agree. Yes, this is right. Very nice. Uh, okay. So now, finally, we have emotional intelligence and IQ. Um, so, which which do you think is more important? Which is more important, emotional intelligence or IQ? Emotional intelligence, both. Uh, IQ, uh, emotional, both uh, emotional intelligence, IQ, both. Okay, good job. Okay, great. Excellent. Okay, so of course, IQ is important and uh, you just need it. Okay, but, if, but IQ by itself cannot make you a star, but emotional intelligence can. So always remember, emotional intelligence can make you a star. So thank you so much. So this is the end of my presentation. So now I'm really open for questions. Uh, if you have any questions or if you have any comments, so uh, I would like to hear from you. Yes, self-awareness, self-management, self management self Yes, great job. management. Excellent. Yeah, Thank great you job, again. Adnan. He's yes. wrapping up. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you so much. I enjoy it. This is really nice. I really like it. Yes, the best presentation. You know, with IQ, you so can really get the like job. It. However, with EQ, you can keep up and develop it. Yes. yes. Good. Of course.